Friends, Genevieve Gordon, and John Gidding, and this, let me introduce you, <laughs> is the latest attempt at making a dollar store trophy for today's challenge for our two favorite designers. This one takes a cake. <laughs> I really don't really know what to say about, about this one. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. <laughs> I believe that John Gidding has won all of the trophies to date, yes? Don't let that inform your decision. <laughs> um, this time of year, I truly love being a New Yorker because I think we throw more ugly Christmas sweater parties than any population on the planet. <laughs> You can see people rocking their ugly Christmas sweaters all over the city. And today, that is part of our dollar uh, store challenge for these two top <laughs> designers. They have to create with items from dollar stores their own ugly Christmas sweaters. And just for fun, we'd like to also see tree toppers and a wreath. But the ugly Christmas sweater is what it's all about. Challenge rolling, check this out. It's the ugly sweater challenge and I'm up against Genevieve Gorder. I've got to run around in this dollar store for 15 minutes, I've got $40 to spend, and I've got to come up with enough materials for an ugly Christmas sweater plus a Christmas tree topper and a wreath. I see you've already <laughs> finished your ugly sweater contest. <laughs> We need cotton balls. This is practically a sweater already, so it works for me. If I can't find carrots, I can make a nose out of a breadstick and spray it orange. Coconut could make good snow. Hard to work with. I make fake snow, yes. These bows make great tree toppers. What's that, a pre-made bow? That looks hard. Is yeah. that hard? Was What's, that hard to find? Oh, no, that? they're right there. Garbage bag garland? Because <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> okay, so here's my base for my wreath. Um, I'm going to take these shiny garlands off and use them in my sweater, and then use the base of this for my wreath. I also think I can make a wreath out of cinnamon sticks in a circular form. That would be really beautiful. Oh, cool. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Vita. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'll be better after I know how much I have in my, my cart. Come on, Vita. Tell me some sweet, sweet news. Thirty-six fifty. is Vita! Wow. Thank you. you did great. I'm impressed. I'm even $3.50 yeah. down. Get That's a, not like me. You can get a coffee afterwards. Can you beat it? That's pretty good. $39.80. Thank you again. Bye. Have a good, good one. Good she luck. likes me more, I think. I don't think so. <laughs> this is what's on the line, people. There can be only one, only one trophy to be awarded. Genevieve begged me to make John Gidding go first this time. She thinks it's going to bring her luck. We're going to reveal. <laughs> We're going to reveal their tree toppers. That's only one third of our scoring today, though, kids. <laughs> and then we're going to let the two of them get hard to work on their ugly sweaters. <laughs> so giddy up, getting what do you got? All right, ready for this? Um, <laughs> no. I, I wanted to bring in a little bit of seasonal festivity with a little bit of taxidermy. <laughs> so I made a, a deer head out of tin foil. And I'm just going to take a little bit of snow spray, which is so seasonally perfect. Rachel loves it. And then, like, a little <laughs> dash of sprinkles. Et voila. I think that the... <laughs> Let me just say... I live in the North Woods, the North Country, OK? We... That... <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I believe. Get us going. For the girls, I'm playing this week. Um, I believe tree toppers should be super simple. And doing the White House for so many years, it was just about Do a simple that? bow. The oh, White the House. White House. The White House. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe you've heard of it. 
This was a piece of table decor. It's a, like a little cornucopia piece. It was $6, and the tree is already a conical shape. It's Look a very at easy Santa's way. Look Santa's hat. Done. Done. <laughs> this is being sold as a tree topper. It's not right. This is adorable. It's Santa's hat, and she just kicked your <laughs> You better <laughs> You better get it together, getting. All right, all right, I got, got two more shots. You got to get on the horn. Okay. You need to call Hermie the elf. You need to call Rudolph. <laughs> you need some serious help. <laughs> Round one in our dollar store challenge easily went to Genevieve Porter <laughs> with her tree topper that looked exactly like Santa's cap. Because it was a Santa's cap. <laughs> No, it was a cornucopia that she repurposed as Santa's cap. Don't Thank you very much, Roadkill Star. <laughs> um, now we're going to move on to wreaths. Uh, Genevieve, you want to go first this time or second? I don't care. Oh, you're psyched I'm for ready. It. Let's let's take it. I'm take ready. It. I've got a ten dollar wreath for you. Here's what it is. <laughs> the back of this is a tinsel wreath. You know, like the, the back of it is a tinsel, tinsel wreath. wreath. It's five dollars. Gotcha. I covered it in cinnamon sticks. Nice. Hot glue and glitter on the edge. It took about 20 minutes. It's beautiful. And it smells, smell it. It smells great and it's very pretty. Thank you very much. It is. That's <laughs> really it's beautiful. Like, I want that. I know. I'll like, give it to you after this. I would actually put that up on my door. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I, like, I would buy that and put it in my kitchen. This is gorgeous. $30. All right, so let's okay. see how you did. Let's see if you can make a comeback here. I think I can. So this is a fun <laughs> project for kids. It works great with any leftover clothing, like single socks that you find lying around. Of course, we went to the dollar store, so I bought a scarf and a little shirt and a bunch of marshmallows. And I used the same backing that Genevieve used, but a whole bunch more hot glue, basically. <laughs> And That's it's really a fun cute. kid project. That is cute. Marshmallows, right. sprinkles, sugar sprinkles. He's back. I still say it's neck and neck. We have the lady with two points on her side. I'll give you a good point for that, though. Point and a half, maybe, over here. That's pretty good. It's all going to come down to the sweater, people. All right, it's the moment of truth. We are going to reveal our Dollar Store holiday champion based on the quality of their sweater craftsmanship. John Gidding and Genevieve Gorder, everyone. Come on out. Did a snow globe? This is a snow globe for like ten dollars. Um, I don't know. I, I I think both of them. That's a, just a hot mess and a hotter mess. Um, Um, John, you seem to really love yours. It's I mean, obviously some I'm green garland. I've been invited to some holiday parties that this might make an appearance. <laughs> okay. At, I mean, it's fabulous. <laughs> and Genevieve was very creative with. Uh, I feel like all kids would melt. So this is an old towel, some breadsticks we painted orange, uh -huh. and some battery-powered lights, and an old pillow. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't try this at home. So, audience, Genevieve Gorder, round of applause. Who thinks Genevieve? John Gidding, who thinks John? Wow. Yes. All right. All right, well, we got to go to the wreaths then, because she won the first one for real. He just won this one for real. <laughs> so who do you think won the wreath, Genevieve? Or John. <laughs> that means Genevieve. <laughs> Christmas came early.
she's so happy about her little sweater. <laughs>